let's look at a basic question on parallel and perpendicular lines and their intersection. So the following question is from the All India Engineering Entrance Exams. What is the erstwhile All India Engineering Entrance Exams and nowadays called J mains? The line L given by x upon 5 plus y upon b equals 1 passes through the point 13, 32. The line K is parallel to the line L and has the equation x by c plus y by 3 equals 1. Then the distance between L and K is what? So the distance between L and K will most probably be found out by finding out the constants B and C. Because if you find out the constants B and C, you practically know the equations of the lines. And once you know the equations of the lines, you can of course use the formula that we had just discussed and find out the, uh, find out the distance between them. So how do we find out the constants B and C? Well, for that, first let's look at the first piece of information given in this question. The line L given by x upon 5 plus y upon b equals 1 passes through the point 13, 32. And so x by 5 plus y by b equals 1 gives us 13 by 5 plus 32 by b equals 1. So this gives us 32 by b equals 1 minus 13 by 5. So that's minus 8 by 5. And this gives us b is equal to negative of 20. Next, the line K is parallel to the line L. So first, substituting B is equal to minus 20, we get the equation of line L as x by 5 minus y by 20 equals 1. So we get 4x minus y equals 20. That is, the line L is y equals 4x minus 20. And thus, writing this in the slope intercept form, we immediately identify the slope of the line L as 4. Moreover, it is parallel to the line K. That is what is given in the second sentence. So therefore, automatically the slope of line K also becomes 4. So first let's find out the slope intercept form of the line K. x upon c plus y upon 3 is equal to 1. So 3x plus cy is equal to 3c. And so we get y is equal to minus 3x plus 3c divided by c, which is equal to minus 3 by c x plus 3. And thus the slope of the line k is given by minus 3 by c. And this is equal to the slope of the line l, which we obtained as 4. So therefore, the slope, the value of the line of the value C is equal to minus 3 by 4. And thus, the equation of the line K can be written as 3x minus 3y by 4 is equal to minus 3 by 4 into 3. So 12x minus 3y equals minus 9 or 4x minus y plus 3 equals 0. So this is the equation of the line k and 4x minus y minus 20 is the 
equation of the line L. <coughs> and thus, the distance between the line L and K can be calculated by finding the absolute value of the difference of constants divided by the square roots of the squares, sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y. So distance between L and K is minus 20 minus 3 divided by the square root of 4 square plus minus 1 square. Minus 20 minus 3 is minus 23. Modulus of minus 23 is plus 23. So we get 23 divided by square root of 4 square plus 1 square which is 16 plus 1 which is 17. So we get that the distance between the lines L and K is 23 by square root of 17 units. And so for this question, option B would be the correct answer. Mm -hmm.